at that point meant head writers, and uh, we were pretty much responsible for the uh, all the scripts. On that show, we did usually at the beginning of every year get together and pitch out stories, general areas where we wanted to go. The interesting thing about Taxi was that you had so many different kinds of characters. Very heterogeneous show. I mean, going from uh, the Judge Hirsch character, a very, very real character, rooted in reality, a divorced man, dri driving a cab way beneath the station. Uh, that, that was a series that was very different from a, a series that would have Andy Kaufman as Latka, this, you know, fictitious, come from this fictitious country and speaking gibberish all the time. I mean, it's... And then having it, multiple personalities. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's fun. it was fun to write for in the sense that there was a lot of variety, but uh, as an audience, I wonder how pe people would react to that, not knowing what you were going to see. Uh, there was a tendency to, to, to go from very broad to very, very real um, with Taxi. For someone uh, who had never seen it, what is the show about? Uh, I think that's, <laughs> I'm not quite sure. I think that's what I'm saying. The, uh, the variety of characters, uh, obviously it's about a group of uh, uh, losers uh, that are... Uh, it, I thought it was very much a family show, that these people have a substitute family. They don't really have anything going on at home, so here they are in this dark, dingy garage in downtown Manhattan, and they're, they have this bond. And uh, I think it's about that. I think it's about uh, losers who don't, won't acknowledge they're losers because they ha at least have each other. Um, it was, I enjoyed writing for Taxi. I thought it was a good experience. Very funny people on that show. Oh, and then there's a Reverend Jim. We forgot. There's another. <laughs> we used to say that, that, that if that a, uh, as Glenn is saying, that a, whatever character you went to, it was a completely different kind of, kind of series based on what character was at the, at the center of it. And uh, I think another thing that defined Taxi, of course, was that every, everybody except Judd Hirsch's character had a desire to be something. They all had an ambition. One wanted to be an actor, one wanted to be an art, art dealer. They all had these grand dreams. And here they so were they stuck were driving ambitious. a cab. Yeah, it's not like they were only doing this. They did have their own dreams, I guess. Right. Only one wanted to be a boxer and actor. And the continuing sort of story is that every once in a while one would just about would seem to be just about ready to make his big break and then fall back again. It was really a show about hell, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> did, could could any of them ever make it or Bobby Bobby finally made it out and got a well no and then he got a job, what was it, a job on a soap or something, and then he lost that. No, every, nobody actually ever made no, it. Anywhere. It never happened. <laughs> what we mentioned earlier about um, Brooks and Weinberger Daniels and David Davis, uh, about them not ever thinking a script was good enough, uh, was, was even more intensified on when they, got, when they were doing their own show. And uh, we were kind of in the middle. We'd have to please both them as executive producers and, of course, Right, be responsible for the script on stage, making sure that was working. And sometimes the script we thought was working, and um, they would, one or all of them would come along and say, I, "No, we got We got to change this." It was, I, I think, uh, working as a producer on Taxi uh, was more difficult than being than running everything on Cheers because we at least it was our ship, and we. We, uh, if we hit an iceberg, that was, that was our fault, and we'd, we'd do something about it. But on that show, we, uh, we really weren't totally in control. Um, so it was, it was, it was difficult. It was, um, I'm, glad, I'm glad we did it. There were moments of, uh, where I really enjoyed it a lot. There were moments where I, it was kind of agonizing.